Hi everyone, my name is Anton. I have been working on computer vision for the last 15 years. In this video I will tell you the main reason why your computer vision solution may not work. And the reasons I will show you are real cases from my practice or from my colleagues and partners. So let's go. The most common problem is that you just don't need computer vision solution for your task. Here are a few examples from practice. First of all, my favorite case. You need to do people tracking on factories, for example. And it's always the same. There are not enough cameras. All people look the same in the uniform. There are dead zones where camera just can't look. And why do you need a computer vision when you have ultra wide band tags, costs less than good cameras and routers, works great in factories, hospitals, and sometimes even in robotics? Does this mean that computer vision is not needed for such places? Of course, you need computer vision, but not for the tracking. Another recent example. People made an application to estimate the volume of liquid in a barrel. And through the same thing could be done with ordinary tape measure. And it was, in this case, order of magnitude more accurate and more simple. So, before the development, check other solutions and other approaches to solve your task. Computer vision is definitely not the best solution for a lot of cases. A few other classic examples of why machine learning and computer vision is not necessary. Computer vision may be uneconomical. Considering how much you will spend on development, on support, on servers, and it becomes clear that it's better to put like a labeler uh, or keep the current specialist on staff and it will be much cheaper. To make computer vision solution work, uh, huge changes in software infrastructure or in existing processes are required. And no one is ready for that. So just check the price of implementing your computer vision solution in all your infrastructure. Let's go next. You have been making a final system. It would seem that what could go wrong? And my favorite example is mm, hand VN recognition, sabotage. We built the system almost 10 years ago and we got it up and running. When we got it up and running, we realized that the main problem wasn't the accuracy. It was a sabotage. People started looking at what they could register instead of the user, like paper or probably some textile. And it was terrible. So we spent like one month to develop a countermeasure from different random objects uh, during the registration process. When we made a system to control merchandisers in 2016, they naturally tried to upload yesterday photos or take a picture of a tablet. And thanks God that uh, the contraction here was possible at the Android level. But it's funny enough case study, in my opinion. Uh, a system for controlling the order of cards in a metal welding factory. It would seem that what can go wrong? What if it's monitoring my work, thinks the average factory worker when he destroying the camera under him. By the way, I once drove around Greece around eight years ago and laughed uh, at the fact that half of the speed cameras were shot by some rifles. Uh, so, and we actually did our license plate recognition somewhere like 12 years ago or even more, but uh, 
and the main issue was not for us was not that someone tries to shoot cameras. Uh, it was the fact that in some season, forty percent of license plates are not recognizable at all. It's hard to call it sabotage, in my opinion. And but sabotage can also manifest itself in the form of laziness. Imagine you have an operator sitting there and you show him. 20 false positives error a day, which he's supported to respond to. But 99 of them are false alarm. What do you think this guy will do? Probably just forget all these errors. The next big problem is data drift. The poker recognition system we did more than 10 years ago regularly changed design uh, and the part of algorithm stopped working. Uh, on shelf product recognition works until someone invents a new a totally crazy design. It like at this point data drift just uh, changing the accuracy of the system. And it seems that it's problem in every second system. But this problem is solvable just put the good system design and always collect a new data. In this case, your system will be stable. The other um, example of incorrect architecture and design. We have implemented many embedded solutions with computer vision. And the most common problem is that the architectures forget to collect data from production. And it's the same. You like installing 1000 systems and like 10% of them doesn't work. Why? You need to collect your data. You can make a completely identical computer vision system, but a different product design will make it work or not work. For example, if you recognized by a single price tag, accuracy will be much higher. Uh, but in comparison with if you like taking a shot of the whole, a lot of price tags. Uh, but of the two systems uh, that we developed for single price tag, none of them works today. But two companies that we create the system with a lot of price tag recognition, where the accuracy was a bit lower, they both are still alive and doing their money. So. Same systems, but different product design can lead to completely different uh, results. Thank you for, atta for attention. I hope that it was a funny video. I will meet you in the next one. Goodbye.